The last time the Red Foxes faced the Quinnipiac Bobcats was on Maris home court. They scored 100 points against them. Don't expect the same thing to happen here at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. This is for the MAC championship. The Red Foxes knew that Quinnipiac did their homework since the last meeting and would have to try and contain Brittany McQuain. McQuain led the Bobcats with 11 first half points, shooting from the outside, the inside, and even from mid range. McQuain finished the game with 23 points and 12 rebounds. But Marist also had to contend with a ferocious first half defense that took the motion out of the Red Fox patent motion offense. In fact, Quinnipiac went on a 25-2 run in the first half, putting Maris down by 17 at one point. The Red Foxes chipped away and cut the deficit to 11 at halftime, and then poured it on in the second half, charging all the way back behind Sidney Coffey's 23 points. Coffey for three. Maris scored 21 points from the foul line and sneaked past Quinnipiac 70-66 for the program's 10th back title. Casey Doolin and Emma O'Connor were named to the All-MAC tournament team. And Sydney Coffey receives the tournament MVP honors. The dynasty continues for the Red Foxes that produces more hardware for the trophy case and more tears of joy for Brian Georges and the Maris Seniors. Was that a surprise to you? Uh, that was a surprise to me. And my teammates were on the side, like, nudging me when they said, I was like, you guys, stop. And then they called my name, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I went out there, and that was it was a surprise to me. The last few games, you've really turned it on that second half. Is there a switch that comes on, or is there an opening that you see, or what happens? Um, I know when I go out there, I have to play my hardest. And sometimes in the first half, I don't really do as much as I do in the second half. But when it comes down to it, I know I have to persevere and do what I know how to do. So tell me, honestly, when you guys were down by 17, what was going through your mind? Um, nothing really. I mean, we knew going into half, um, Georges had kept telling us in timeouts we had to cut the lead to certain numbers before halftime so we don't get too far under. And we did that, and then we came out of the half and we knew the first couple minutes were going to be really important and we needed to get on the run. How tough were they compared to other teams you faced? They played really, really good team defense. Every time that I drove baseline and drove middle, there was always someone to help them. So I just kept trying to find the open person and we hit them, then they'd rotate to them, so we'd have to rotate the ball. So they played really, really good team defense. You know, uh, I thought it was the best defense defense they played out of the three games that we played this year. Obviously the second game wasn't if we scored 100. You know, they did a nice job preparing them and we had to make an adjustment, you know, and you know, for a while we couldn't, it didn't matter where we were, we couldn't make a shot. And it's a credit to their defense, but you know, in the second half, you know, we made some adjustments, went to a couple different options that we have, went away from our motion and it was successful.